If you do not already know, the NLWC is putting together a monster card with a bunch of good high school and notable senior level uh, freestyle athletes that it's going to be very fun to watch and we're just going to break down this whole entire event. Let's go into the video. So first off the headline, if you do not already know, Kyle Dake versus Jason Knopf. Uh, Dake's actually wrestling two matches, so he's also going to go up against Vincenzo Joseph. Now all three of those guys, very proficient in folk style. Dake, of course, four-time champion. Knopf, I think, a two- or three-timer. And then Joseph was a two-timer and a runner-up, uh, I think, in 2019. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see all of these guys wrestle. Um, of course, in freestyle, Dake was far better than these guys he was a world champion at 79 kgs almost made the world team a few times but has made it at 79 and could potentially take down jordan burroughs this year um, and make his first world team at 74 kgs in a while um jason knopf hasn't really been able to make a world team same with chenzo joseph those guys have been at the trials knopf won the u.s open but haven't been able to replicate their success in folk style and freestyle, which is why we got Kyle Dake here, probably by a margin of six or seven points against both of these guys. So yeah, definitely Kyle Dake will win both of these matches uh, by a pretty good margin. And next up is Gabe Dean versus Bo Nickel. Now this is going to be one of the closer matches on this card. Uh, Gabe Dean, I think at the last NLWC event, he went up against David Taylor. Um, it was a pretty close matchup. I think Taylor only won by four, four or five points. Dean also got a takedown on him, um, which is pretty pretty cool to see Gabe Dean a pretty old wrestler guy's been wrestling for a while now uh, a lot of people thought he retired back in 2013 and he actually did but came out of retirement this year or last year in 2020 won the senior nationals and Bo Nickel of course U23 champion it's gonna be pretty interesting to see this young guy go up against a very experienced wrestler um, in Dean but this one it's probably gonna go down to criteria or have a one or two point margin I think Gabe Dean's going to come out, has more experience, and will beat Bo Nick on this one. Dean is also going up against Kyle Snyder, and this one's no question. Dean, a great wrestler, national champion a few times, but Kyle Snyder just on a different level. Plus, he has a little bit of weight advantage, so definitely will go in Kyle Snyder here uh, by three or four points. And next up is Nation Garrett wrestling two matches, one against Yanni, and then the other one is against Zane Rutherford. Both guys who are very even, Zane and Yanni have exchanged matches. Then Yanni beat him at the US Open, and then Zane beat him at Final X a few times, something like that. Both guys are very on par with each other, so I would have loved if we could see them wrestle, but instead they're both wrestling the common opponent in Nation Garrett. Um, Garrett, a pretty good wrestler as well, but I wouldn't say he's on the level with Yanni Jack Mahalis or even Zane Rutherford. Yanni recently took down Vladimir Kinchikashvili. Uh, I think it was a few months ago, not super recently, but he's a good wrestler, has a few losses to guys like Yanni at the, I think the RTC Cup, so I don't really think he's going to be able to take down Yanni Diakmahalas or even Zane Rutherford, so probably going to be three or four point easy win for Yanni and Zane in this matchup. Next up is Thomas Gilman versus Zach Sanders and Vito is also going up against Zach Sanders. Now Vito Rujao and Thomas Gilman, both guys we're gonna see at the Olympic trials, similarly to Zane Rutherford and Yanni Dakmahalas. So it would have been pretty interesting to see if we could have those guys go up against each other, but I guess we're just gonna have to sell it on them both going up against Zach Sanders for now. Um, Sanders, not the best freestyle wrestler, uh, wasn't even on a world team, I believe, but got third at the junior Greco event and second at the freestyle junior national championship in the USA. Um, definitely not on par with Vito Arisha and Thomas Gilman. I would expect both of them to win by five or six points against Zach Sanders. And finally, David Taylor is also going up against Max Dean. Now, Max Dean, the brother of Gabe Dean, of course. I wouldn't say he's on the level of his brother and David Taylor did beat his brother like I mentioned before, uh, but I would still think that it's going to be a pretty good matchup between these guys. Uh, Dean, a guy who was on the U23 team, represented USA at Budapest, uh, but David Taylor just on a different level at 86 kg, he's just a beast, just took down Jordan Burroughs at that weight class, even though he was bumping up a little bit, it was still a pretty good win for David Taylor. I would expect he would roll that momentum on over and beat Max Dean in this matchup, probably by five or six points um maybe even could be a technical fall let's wrap up our video for today pretty nice card put together by the nlwc uh, i would wish that we could see some olympic trial preview matches happen but probably can't do that since it is so close which is why we're not seeing thomas gilman go up against Vito or like yanni go up against zane but still 
pretty good card the high school card is good as well they got some good wrestlers like shane van ness competing uh so yeah definitely tune into that it's pretty cheap as well and make sure you guys like comment down below and stuff more rest of content like this peace